Okay, so I'm going to do two pours today. The inspiration is to use something on my 30 day challenge for day five is to use something that you would otherwise throw away. So I have a jug of it was distilled water and it's been used up and I put water in it just to give it some weight so it wouldn't the plastic wouldn't crinkle in because it's kind of lightweight plastic so I just filled it up with water so that it would have some weight to it and then this was a cat treat container with an orange lid and I'm going to use both of these as my project today and I wanted to just pick lots and lots of rainbow colors and I decided to go with all kinds of off-brand craft paint. I didn't want to use great quality paints. I just rather would use Craft Smart, Apple Barrel, uh, some from the dollar store, some a ceram coat. There's some that is Anita's. So I've got a little bit of everything, but I want it very colorful. And I want more paint than I do anything else. I'm, I want more paint and maybe less float trawl or, I, I was going to do it straight out of the bottle, but I am going to add some float trawl into it. So I'm just emptying the bottles and I'm going to fast forward through all this so that you don't have to listen to me and wait on me but you can see me pour out my paints in the bottles and mix up flow trawl and that kind of thing So what you just saw me do was put water into the flow trawl bottle to make sure to get all the flow trawl out and then it goes into my water bottle. So the water is mostly water but it might have about 10% flow trawl in it. So what I'm going to mix into the paints is flood flow trawl latex based and um, it's not quite one to one ratio. It's a little bit more paint than it is flow trawl this time because I want the paint to be kind of thick since I'm going to be pouring over objects I don't want it to be so runny that it all runs off so I'm trying to keep it a little bit on the thicker side okay so I'm going to do a dirty pour on this one and I want orange I want it like happy colors but I'm got, I've got the orange lid so I want it to definitely have orange and black in it so I think I can get it all in a cup to pour on we shall see how this works out I'm also going to incorporate maybe a little white here and there which is in my squeeze bottle and it is just white mixed 50-50 with Floetrol and I'm hoping to catch the pretty drips on this parchment paper. So I got this paint pretty thick. I did not put silicone in here. I'm not really looking for sales, I'm just looking for something pretty. A little black. And black can sometimes overtake things, so I try not to do a whole heck of a lot of it. I am going to use a lot of these other colors for the other pour, which look like peacock colors to me, so it's going to inspire me to do a peacock pour for sure. 
I have not used the hot pink color yet either. Put a little bit more red. So this is kind of a rainbow effect of colors and I'm hoping it turns out pretty. This is a full cup. Probably way too much paint for this. I think I just put rubbed paint behind my ears, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm, I'm not trying to really get the top and side. And that was actually harder to do than it looks. And this puddle underneath, I really don't want to mess it up. So what I'm going to try to do is take some colors that are similar and fill in the blank spots. I think I have, I think I have all the blank spots covered. There's a little piece of paint. Lift it out. So the orange is there. What I am going to do is just pour a light layer of orange around. I might not should have done that, but I'm going to anyway. So some has gone inside the jug, but I'm not worried about that. This is just a paint project. I'm going to try to do a little bit of black. So this is really cool. I'm going to put it aside and let it... I need to put it on a cutting board or something. So put in another layer of freezer paper, but I'm also going to prop this jug because it does have water to keep the shape of the plastic from caving in. It's got water in it, but I'm going to let it run off into this. This came in a box around speakers or something that was round, I forget. So. I'm going to let it pour onto that. So I was thinking about doing the sink strainer pour on this. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll move that aside for a minute to do my layering in my cup. And after everything has dried, I will do a video where it shows all around the edges of both pieces and also, I will show dried pictures always at the end of the video. Always at the ends of my videos, I put dry pictures of the finished look. So this one, I think I'm going for more of the peacock look. So I am going to start with just a little bit of black. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I'm going to put some metallic gold and I'm going to put it straight out of the bottle. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. This is bronze by Anita's. And I'm at the end almost on it, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm, I don't have any silicone in it, and I'm just trying to kind of layer it. It doesn't matter if it mixes in a little bit, but I do want kind of that layered effect. Some of these are metallics, which are really pretty. I have no idea how this is going to look. 
but I am going to try to make this jug look beautiful. And it's got a handle too, which is going to be kind of interesting. So with anything that's long and, and you're pouring downward, it definitely, the colors blend together because they're they're pouring over each other, so you don't get a lot of separation of color um, like I wanted to. I'm just explaining that. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to pop this lid off and rinse it. And then I'm just going to go around the edge to make sure that paint goes all the way up to the top. I thought this would be neat to put flowers in, like a vase. And I'm going to take the lid with the leftover paint. I can't really pick the jug up because it will mess up the handle. And I do need to take a little of the paint and go right under the handle and add some. Otherwise it pretty much covered the whole... Well, here's some on the side of the jug and here's a corner. So I need to transfer some paint there. So I'm going to take some of the paint, let it go down over the side of that corner. There's a little bit here. So the interesting part is how do you lift the jug up off the container so that it has a chance to dry underneath. That's the question. So I need to set it on top of something so I have a nasty bowl that is not that great. I'm going to put the lid aside. Actually, I'm going to tilt it a little bit so it'll go over the edges. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put it on the bowl if that works, but I'm going to have to lift it. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Oh, oh! I can't do that because the, it makes the water come out. That was not smart on my behalf. I'm going to have to get some water out. Okay, I didn't think that through very well. And it's very wobbly. I'll tell you what, instead of the bowl, I've got my black that has a flat edge. So I'm going to put it on there. Get it centered so it's not wobbly. And I've got to touch up the area where I had to use the handle. Luckily, when the water came out of the jug, it did not take the paint off the jug. There's a lump of paint. So, that does not look peacocky, but it's interesting. So, I will leave that and Add a little bit more under the handle. I think I did it better with the popsicle stick. And then it will just run down. This is really pretty. Of course, I can't keep this. It's super heavy with paint. So I'm just pouring it in. So all this color. So this is pretty thick. It's not moving around much at all. So I'm just going to try to use my thumbs a little bit to, to pull it. But um, the interesting part is this would make a pretty background or a flower or something. 
as if it were sitting in some grasses or whatever. So I'm not displeased with it. I'm pretty happy. So I got one more and I'm going to use this again and I'm going to, this time I'm going to add some bright spots. Kind of interesting too. I guess the key with dipping is um, making sure that you get your canvas totally in the paint. I think that would be key for a successful dip, which I wouldn't call this one necessarily a successful dip, but it's better than any of the other ones I've ever done. You've got to figure out how to keep your colors separated where they don't turn to mud. So as you see, you run your colors together and they just kind of go to a, mud a muddy state. Um, so I was just playing with the color a little bit. So this is freezer paper and I'll just throw it out. Got a little puddle that's accumulating under the jug here, but not too bad. Okay, so here is the results of my day five challenge to make a piece of art from something you would throw away. So um, I've got the two dips in the background which were from the leftover paint and this was an old, well not old, it was a distilled water jug not even a milk jug, so it was like extremely flimsy plastic. It's like super flimsy. So I have the video, how I showed how to do it, and here is the final results. And I had used a bunch of really bright, bold colors. And as you can see, it dulled down quite a bit. And that's why I'm not crazy about pouring on vertical surfaces because you lose so much of the beauty of all that you went through to mix those colors and everything. So that is that one and this was a cat treat container. So here's the lid that's still, you know, the top of the lid. It was, you know, some kind of fancy feast or temptations or something like that. And it was one of those little containers you hold that has the little inside area and then this was a pour I did and it was actually quite beautiful and then I went over it again with just straight color and therefore it came up with this Halloweenish looking effect but as you can see in the corner here the colors were really beautiful on this one and I kind of screwed it up to there's just a little bit of evidence of what it looked like from the pour that I did so anyway, this is the cat knit or the cat treat container. So uh, that's what I made and the dripped paint that was left over, which I had tons and tons of paint left over. I did two dips into the paint. This one on the left I like a lot better, but I think I'll actually do a flower on each one or something and make it a set of uh, something that's hand painted with regular art. Uh, like a more realistic art, but these were some flowers I have in my house. I love bright colors, so I stuck them in there. It went with the orange theme, and so here is my milk jug, or it was a distilled water jug, and it was, um, this is with the paint, and then I sprayed it with the clear coat, triple thick, I think, was the, 
the can. And so there are my day five challenges for using something you would throw away. And I am typically just not going to pour on things like that again. I prefer to do it on canvas and wood and that kind of thing. It just makes a whole lot more sense to me. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the final results. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the project, and if you did, give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to my channel.